In this video, we are going to see the electronic configuration of T block elements. Let us come to group 15. Which elements are there in group 15 is nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. You know the electronic configuration for nitrogen. It is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p3. If you count the electrons 4 and 3, 7. So what we will do for the next one, you don't have to count the number of electrons. What simply you have to do is the main principal quantum number, I will fill this 1s2. Then I will fill completely fill the second principal quantum number. So that will be 2s2 and 2p6. This will be completely filled. And then I will come to 3s2, 3p3. For arsenic, it will be 1s2. This will be completely filled. Then it will be 2s2, 2p6. This I will completely fill now. 3s2, 3p6. That is 3d also. So it will be 3d10. And I will end up with 4s2 and 4p3. Let us come to antimony. You can write this simultaneously students. This will be 1s2. This will be 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6. 3d10. 4s2, 4p6. 4d10. And then it will be 5s2 and 5p3. Right students? Now come to bismuth. For bismuth only you have to remember this will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 completely filled. Then you come to 3s2, 3p6, 3d10. Now what you have to do is I will fill this completely. So it will be 4s2, 4p6, 4d10. Now here you have to introduce 4f14. Come to this 5s2. 5p6, 5d10, then 6s2 and 6p3. So this is the electronic configuration for 15th group. Let us see for group 16 now. Which elements are there in group 16 students? Group 16 is oxygen. Sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium. Let us go for oxygen. It is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Now we can practice this easily. What will be for sulfur now? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. This will be completely filled. 3s2 and 3p4. This will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. What will be here now? 3d10, 4s2, 4p4. Come to tellurium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10. What will be next to here? 5s2 and 5p4. Come to the last one, polonium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10. Now what is important here student? You will introduce 4f14, then 5s2, 5p6, 5d10 and then it will be 6s2 and 6p4. So let us come to group 17. Group 17 elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and acetine. What is What will be for fluorine? 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. What next will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p. Now I will completely fill this. So it will be now 3s2 and 3p5. Come to bromine, 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10. What will be next? It will be 4s2 and 4p3. 
फाइव कम टू आयोडीन वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू थ्री पी सिक्स थ्री डी टेन फोर एस टू फोर पी सिक्स फोर डी टेन फाइव एस टू एंड फाइव पी फाइव कैन यू हेल्प मी फॉर दिस नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इट विल बी वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स वन थिंग वॉट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर हियर दैट यू हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस फोर एफ फोर पी सिक्स फोर डी टेन फोर एफ फोर्टीन सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव फिनिश अप विद द फोर्थ प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर फाइव एस टू फाइव पी सिक्स फाइव डी टेन एंड वॉट इज द लास्ट वन सिक्स एस टू सिक्स पी फाइव कम टू ग्रुप एटीन नाउ Now come to group eighteen. Group eighteen elements are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Now let us see what the electronic configuration is. This is one s two. So the first principal quantum number is completely filled. Now it's easy for us. You have to keep on completely filling the orbitals. What will be this one s two and two s two two p six. So first principal quantum number second is over. What will be for argon now? One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six. What will be the next one? One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, three d ten, four s two, four p six. Over. What text? One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, three d ten, four s two. Four p six, four d ten, five s two, five p six. What will is very important for the last element. You have to introduce here four f. So one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, three d ten, four s two, four p six, four d ten, four f fourteen. That will be introduced here next. Five s two, five p six, five d ten, and last will be six s two and six p six. So this is the electronic configuration. You have to remember this, so you don't have to keep on counting the number of electrons while filling in the orbitals. Thank you, students.